Those sources of energy cannot be replaced by nature in a reasonable time frame. That is, once used, nature needs hundreds of thousands of years to replace them. For example, if we cut trees to use them, new trees can be grown at the same place in a matter of years. It can be 10 years, 15 years, or 20 years. But that's still a reasonable time frame. But fossil fuels, that is, coal, petrol, diesel, and kerosene, if we use them, nature needs thousands or even millions of years to make them again. Earth minerals, metal ores, fossil fuels, even underground water are examples of non-renewable sources of energy. Coal is a fossil fuel which is present beneath the Earth's surface and is formed in millions of years. It is extracted through various mines and is used in thermal power plants to produce electricity. Organic remains, that is, remains of plants and animals deep beneath the Earth's surface, turns into fossil fuels like natural gas and petrol, and diesel due to the immense pressure and temperature in millions of years these fossil fuels possess a lot of energy and are used in vehicles and thermal power plants to produce electricity but we are using them at an alarming rate and if we continue to use them at this rate they will be vanished in some years and nature will need millions of years to make them again. They also have many other disadvantages. They pollute the environment, cause global warming, so are not good for human health too. So kids, today we learned a lot about renewable and non-renewable sources of energy. Now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye-bye.